Hi everybody, welcome to Wellsford, New Brunswick. Uh, really nice house here, it's quite close to the local uh, service station, give you an idea of where it's located. The uh, street number is 8541, but uh, it's a lovely two-story home here with a full concrete, poured concrete basement. Probably, without question, one of the nicest two-story homes that I've ever been in. Um, just beautiful on both levels. Hardwood floors on the main level, uh, softwood style plank floors upstairs. Uh, house is in excellent shape. It's got a brand new single car garage. It's actually two cars deep, so I can't call it a double car garage, but you could fit two cars in there. I'm pretty close to it. Um, that was a $14,000 garage. The house all vinyl windows, has a new 30-year uh, shingle roof on it. Um, they've, uh, and on the lower level, or on the main level, I should say, open concept kitchen, dining room, living room, just beautiful inside. Propane fireplace, and uh, very well maintained. The, the property itself, too, is pr one of the nicest properties you'll come across. The guy's a bit of a horticulturalist, obviously. Um, there's trees and plants here that are native to the province uh, that he's imported, brought in onto the site. So it's very private and, uh, you know, lots of green space, lots of flower beds and gardens. Um, there's oak, chestnut, butternut trees here, uh, grape, grape trees current bushes, there's rose bushes, all different types of flower gardens. Uh, there's actually a vegetable garden here as well. And I wanted to show you the outside because it's just such a nice property on the exterior. You get inside, you won't be disappointed either. There's um, an electric forced air fire, uh, furnace that heats the home. There's some electric baseboard and the propane as well. But the uh, forced air furnace can be converted to a heat pump. There'd be a bit of an added expense to do that, but it's uh, it's definitely doable. Uh, it's set up for that purpose. Um, so a nice wraparound deck here goes around the back of the house. It's in great shape. Take you here. So this is all uh, great barbers and uh, hop hop bushes as well. So, nice and private. Um, take you out back here too. There's more of the great bushes here and garden areas. There's a raspberry uh, patch, and uh, they have they have a hobby here. They they um, uh, raise quail. So it's a great backyard for that. I mean, a uh, large backyard, drilled well, septic, and uh, we used to have bees here also. There's your uh, garden area. Uh, house has a new 200 amp entrance and panel about 10 years ago. And uh, power is run by conduit out to the garage. Hasn't been hooked up yet, but is, uh, is on site. And that's the exterior. Not a very busy road right here. Total privacy when you're when you're on the property though. Uh, about a four minute drive to the four lane highway and thirty five minutes north takes you to Fredericton and about twenty minutes south takes you into St. John. So it's close to everything. This is a really nice foyer area. Great for when you first come into the house. Some closets there. Um, the house is spotless inside. Non-smokers. So it's uh, been very well maintained. Um, I, I'd like to say one level. I have a favorite level one over the other. Probably this is it. All the other two levels are really nicely done as well. But you've got a kitchen here, open concept, kind of non-structural beams in the ceiling, but really fits with the character of the house. 
plenty of pantry space. Got a uh, nice island that projects out here as well. And your dining room. Fridge, obviously. And there's your living room. I'll just walk right around. And stairs to go up in behind your, your door there is so into your lower level. But Kitchen. Views right out into the backyard. Lots of counter space. And then, uh, I mean, that's a big dining, dining room table. We've got a china cabinet in here and more chairs. And still tons of room. There's, there's your flooring. The flooring at one point has been refinished, no question. And the uh, front door leads right out onto your deck. Have a barbecue out there, no problem. Uh, one, one of the improvements that they've done here, too, is they put a half bath on this main level, which is great. Um, living room, nice blinds, again, all vinyl windows, propane fireplace, and uh, flooring. It's quite nice. So that's your main level. And uh, another thing about the house, it's very well built, or it feels like it's well built. All the floors are are quite level, given the vintage of the house. It's uh, it appears to me like it's been very well constructed. So we've got three bedrooms up here, and nice uh, spruce flooring, larger uh, closet there, and bathroom. Great fanny. That there's been some updates here. No question. Uh, I'll take you into this. Either one of these rooms could be your master bedroom. One or the other. So it's bright and sunny there. Might have got a little bit dark in the video. You get the picture anyway. You can have a look at the photographs online. But Lots of lots of furniture in this room here. I mean, they've got a large desk, and the room does not feel small. So it's uh, three really good sized rooms. And I'll show you the lower level. So a full bath on that level. Lots of character. It's character uh, type of house with all kinds of newer improvements that really haven't. Uh, taken away from the flow or the character of the house. And we have this lower level. Really like this. I mean, if you have kids or anybody that's into games, this is a great games room area. Um, you know, nicely set up that way. This room here, presently kind of set up as a bedroom. Technically, the window doesn't meet egress code for a bedroom, but... That's what it's being used for. Um, storage underneath the stairs right here. And then big laundry room area. Uh, there's your 200 amp panel. Got a uh, hot water tank. Your well. And then just a ton of storage. The electric furnace is right in here. And again, it's uh, it can be converted to a heat pump. No question. These are all uh, softwood style stairs. Those are hardwood. So, thanks for the interest. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. 608-4866. Or you can shoot me an email. Peter at peterc21.com Thanks again, and uh, hope you have a great day.